Hey guys, it's me Abby to welcome back to my channel. So now I don't know I'm gonna be cooking with you guys. I'll be making pizza from scratch. I don't usually do this to channel ko, but I think it's actually fun to cook with you and show you how I make my own pizza at home. And also, it's just a lang, so it's easy to make pizza dough and also the sauce, napaka simple ingredients. Lang. Kung ano meron kayo dyan sa kitchen nyo, pwede nyo gamitin. And yung recipe ng pizza dough ko is nakuha ko lang din sa internet. And I just want to show you basically on how I do it myself. So anyway, if you guys want to see how I create my own pizza, then please keep on watching. Okay guys, so ito yung mga ingredients na kailangan natin. First of all, kailangan natin ng 1 cup of milk and water. So, half ng milk and half ng warm na water. Tapos, lalagyan natin siya ng 2 teaspoon of sugar. I'm using brown sugar. So, dapat guys, ang pinaka-importante when it comes to doing pastry or baking stuff, it has to be in the right measurements. Dapat tama lahat ng measurements natin. So, nilagay ko na yung 2 teaspoon of sugar dito sa um, warm milk natin. And then, imimix lang natin siya. Dapat maligam-gam siya, guys, kasi gagamitan natin yun ng yeast. So, after that, lalagay na natin yung 1 teaspoon of yeast. Yeast. <laughs> 1 teaspoon of yeast dito sa mixture natin. And then, imimix ulit natin siya. Kailangan kasing mabuhay nung yeast, guys. Um, we're gonna leave this for about, I think, 5 minutes. And then, yun naman, measure na natin yung ating harina. Meron ako dito yung digital weighing scale. So, I always use this whenever I do baking and stuff like that. Kasi, I really want to make a precise measurement for all my ingredients. So, um, meron ako dito yung half teaspoon of salt sa bowl. And now, I'm gonna add two and a half cups ng flour. Or 300 grams of flour. So, I'm gonna measure that. 300. Meron na tayo flour dito na measure na natin. I will put all the ingredients on the description box below para madali nyo ma-follow lahat ng gagawin ko. So habang nabubuhay yung yeast natin, inaantay natin for about 5 minutes, let's mix the salt and our flour. So guys, ganito dapat ang mag-iitsura ng yeast nyo. Kung hindi siya nagbubula-bula, ibig sabihin it's not ready or patay na yung yeast. Hindi siya mag-work. You have to redo it again. Um, it's very important na medyo nababubble siya like this. By the way, guys, when you're mixing this, uh, make sure na paunti-unti lang yung lagay ng ating mixture sa flour. Like, slowly by slowly, hahaluin natin siya. Like so. And make sure na na-incorporate natin lahat ng liquid. Actually, sa pizza dough na to, you don't need milk for this. You can just use warm water. But since gusto kasi na malinam-nam yung ating dough, I decided na going half milk and then half water instead of just water. So we're just gonna keep on mixing this. And then... Magni-need tayo. Wala kasi akong mixer. Um, Inaantay ko lang matapos yung lockdown para maka makapagbili ako ng mga baking needs ko. Kasi I've been crazy on baking lately. Gumagawa ko ng sarili kong pandesal, ng tinapay, French baguette. You know what I'm saying? I'm making those. And um, it's really fun to do something like that. Kasi minsan pag pumunta ako sa groceries, wala nang tinapay na available. So I decided to make it myself. So now, what we're gonna do, make sure that yung ating surface is very clean. Ito, napunasan ko na siya with alcohol. And also, make sure that your hands are clean as well. I'm gonna wash my hands again before I knead the dough. So I'll be right back. Okay guys, so now my hands are clean. I'm now gonna start kneading the dough. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna get some flour and then it's just spread that in shadito satin surface. What we're gonna do is we're gonna push this flour and then 
we're gonna put it here on the surface and look to start the time with need no ating flour. Right now, it's kind of like lumpy and marami siyang parang um, malalaking lumps. But later on, pag natapos na natin siyang inid ng maayos, magiging smooth na siya. And it's gonna look really amazing and cool. <laughs> I really like doing this and I really enjoy this. Pag naka-quarantine ka nga naman talaga namang, you wanna do something. And this is actually fun to do with your kids, with your husband. So when you feel like it's sticky na, you're just gonna keep on adding a little bit of um, flour para hindi siya dumikit sa kamay mo at saka sa lamesa na kung saan mo siya minamasa. <laughs> Ayan, minamasa. Tagalog at Tagalog. And then, put a little bit on your hand. By the way, guys, hindi ako nag-aaral lang um, pastry, hindi ako nag-aaral lang anything about culinary. I just learn from YouTube and it's, I love cooking, to be honest. Dapat nga nag-culinary na lang ako when I was in college, but I took business entrepreneurship and medyo nagsisi ako kasi I really want to work in the kitchen or in a hotel. So HRM also is another option for me. So this is how I need the dough, by the way. So you just push it and then just roll it. Push, roll, push, roll, push, and roll. Just push and roll. So you're just gonna keep doing this for about five to 10 minutes hanggang sa feeling mo medyo hindi na siya lumpy. And talagang no work na natin yung gluten. Medyo nakakapagod siya. Actually, ito exercise na to eh. Um, also, I just wanna mention, alam nyo ba na dahil sa quarantine na to, ang daming couples or basta boyfriend, girlfriend, mag-asawa na nagtatalo ngayon. Hindi ko alam kung bakit, but medyo nagtatalo kami ng boyfriend ko during this self-quarantine thing. Kasi siyempre, parang, you've been together the whole day, you're not doing anything, you're just eating, and you're just really bored, and nakastress. So, um, feeling ko normal siya sa nangyayari sa atin ngayon. But, um, hopefully, uh, talaga matapos na itong lockdown na to kasi nakakasira siya ng relasyon, guys. But, stay strong. Anyway, kumusta na kayo guys? I'm really happy na malapit na tayo umabot ng 3,500 subscribers. As of now, last time I checked, it was 3,245 subscribers. And I really hope that you guys get to share my videos to your friends, to your family. I would really, really appreciate that. Kasi I'm just here sharing all my ideas and I'm just really happy to do it for you. I think my dough is perfect. So now I have a clean bowl. Lalagyan ko na siya ngayon ng oil. You can use any oil you want, vegetable oil. I'm using coconut oil. It's from our company actually. Nagabenta kami ng lamis, guys. Uh, we're gonna spread this out sa bowl. We have to make sure na na-cover yung dough natin ng oil para hindi siya dumikit sa bowl looks very smooth so this is how it looks like guys we're now gonna cover it with a clean wrap so ngayon na cover na natin siya with oil nalagyan na natin siya ng clean wrap ilalagay natin siya sa warm na place i usually put this sa aking um, oven para umalsa siya na mabilis kasi super warm ng oven and then Actually, earlier, I already made a pizza dough. And then, ito na siya. Ito na yung itura niya, guys. Umalsa na siya. Like this. It's been one hour. And dinagyan ko lang siya ng konting rosemary. Kasi gusto ko siya magkaroon ng konting amoy and konting flavor. Um, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna roll this out para mamaya umalsa uli siya before I put the sauce. So now guys, you're gonna get your rolling pin. Kung wala kayong rolling pin, pwede mo naman gamitin ang kamay nyo. Um, I just find it really easy when I use this one. Nalagyan ko muna ng konting harina yung ating surface. Kakalat natin para madali siyang i-roll. So ayan na. Umalsa na siya guys as you can see. Lalagyan ko rin ng konting harina yung aking rolling pin para hindi siya dumikit. And we're gonna start rolling our pizza dough. Kung nakikita nyo may mga konting parang mukhang dumi, hindi siya dumi guys. It's actually a roast milk. Sa so, 2.5 cup ng flour, malaki-laki ng pizza yung magagawa nyo. And I'm really excited of how is it gonna turn out. So 
So now, na roll out ko na siya. I feel like okay na to. Perfect size na siya for my pizza. I like thick crust. So ilalagay ko dito yung pizza do natin sa wax paper na to. Wala na yung shape niya, guys. But it's okay. It's still gonna be pizza. <laughs> Gusto ko kasi na parang medyo may crust na makapal sa tabi. So, what we're gonna do is we're just gonna fold this. Like this. Pwede namang hindi nyo na siya gawin, but I prefer to do this. Kasi gusto ko may nahawakan ako sa pizza ko. Madali lang siya, guys. Sobrang simple. So, if bored ka, this is something you can actually do when you have nothing else to eat, like if you're craving for Pizza Hut or something like that. Pwede, pwede mo itong gawin, kumuha ka lang ng harina, kailangan mo lang ng yeast, and then you're good to go. Okay, so this is how our pizza dough looks like. It's not that perfect, but it will taste like pizza. So ilalagay ko ulit itong pizza dough ko sa oven. I'm gonna let it sit for a moment. I'm gonna let it press. And now, it's about time to make the sauce. Okay guys, so now I am back. I got my ingredients. Meron ako dito um, ground beef. Ito yung ginamit ko yesterday paggawa ng meatball. So medyo may konti na siyang seasonings. But I'm still gonna season it later pag niluto ko na siya. Papakita ko sa inyo kung ano yung lalagay ko. And then I have the CDO Classic Ham Sweet. And then meron akong cheese. And then I have my tomato sauce. What I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna heat up my pan. Okay. Okay, so, lalagyan natin ng oil ng ating pan. So, now we're gonna put the meat. What we're gonna do is, I'm gonna add garlic powder. Pwede naman kayo maglagay ng kahit na nung seasoning, guys. You don't have to be afraid of anything. Lagyan natin siya ng black pepper. So, we're gonna put a little bit of Spanish paprika here. And then, a little bit of chili, because I love chili powder. I'm going to add a little bit of magic setup. I don't know, for some reason, it's really good to have magic setup in all the dishes that I've been eating. I don't have to use the recipe, guys. I just use it and use it. And then, of course, I'll see if it's okay to make the last one. Just to make sure. Okay, so now, it's hot for our one cup of water. Let's put the sauce in the sauce. Let's put the seasoning in. Papainitin lang, basically. It doesn't have to be high. So, what I'm gonna do with the sauce, lalagyan ko siya ng, obviously, garlic powder, black pepper, and then I'm gonna add a pinch of salt. So, since ito kasi yung original sauce na tomato sauce, Um, I'm gonna add two pinch of sugar para medyo tumamis ang ating sauce kasi nililig ako sa matamis eh. Kahit na alam natin na meron akong diabetes pero konti lang naman. Nalig ako lang siya ng konti. We're just basically heating up the sauce. Yun lang. So, hindi ko pala na record yung paglagay ko ng sauce ng meat, ng ham and cheese but I'm gonna show you kung anong itsura na niya ngayon. So, yeah. Yan ang itsura ng aking pizza. You can put how much you want. I, like I said, I only use one pack of sauce and then meat. And then on the other side, I also added some ham. And now we're gonna put it in a preheated oven for about um, 220 Celsius. And we're gonna cook it for about 30 minutes or 20 minutes or so until magmelt na yung cheese natin. So by the way, guys, this is my honey bunny. <laughs> He's now gonna put our pizza inside our oven. Guys, I was trying to record it and hindi ko na realize, hindi ko pala na click yung record button. So now, hindi ko na pakita sa inyo yung step by step na paglagay ko ng sauce and everything sa aking pizza. But yeah, that's how it looks like. I hope it's gonna be good. And now my boyfriend is gonna close the door out. <laughs> Are you excited? <laughs> yes, I'm shy also. <laughs> Babe, don't be shy. So have you tried my pizza before? Yes, you did like a little bit something. It was good. Yeah. Uh, yeah it was So sarap. I made pizza before. It was... Um, Set up. <laughs> you know how to speak. Um, a little bit of Tagalog <laughs> now. Yeah, just a few. Um, so what I did before is just I just put meat and cheese and that's yeah. it. But this time... Um, actually, I told you before, I made the meat before and I mixed it with sauce, but now I did it separately. Yeah. 
So. Now it's exactly pizza. Yeah, it's exactly pizza. Salamat I'm pizza. still learning. <laughs> you're welcome, babe. Basta pag nakita nyo na yung sauce na nagmelt, then that's when your pizza is ready. And when you see the crust of the yeah. pizza is brown, then that's definitely ready. So anyway, guys, we'll be right back in a few, and we'll see you in a while. <laughs> and we're gonna, you're gonna have to tell them how it tastes like later. Okay, babe. He's gonna rate it, and he's gonna tell me how he thinks. All right, see you later. See you. Let's take a sneak peek. Ooh, smelling so good. Okay, guys. So I think luto na yung ating pizza right here. Um, unfortunately, the cheese got burnt, but it's okay. It's still gonna taste good, I think. We're gonna see. So my boyfriend is gonna take it out from the oven. Say hi, baby. Hi. Okay. How's that? Kamusta? <laughs> Tignan natin kung masarap ba siya. I think the cheese really got burnt and we didn't quite watch the time. Medyo nasunog siya guys, but it's okay. I like burnt stuff. And I wouldn't say this is a fail. Look at that dough guys. Can you see? Parang makeup lang. Okay, so here is how it looks like. Mmm. Ah! So hot. Nice, I like it. You like it? Mm -hmm. You're not lying to me. Baby, if I don't like something, I say no. If the cheese wasn't that burnt, this is perfect still. It's still good. Wow. Like so it. tasty, guys. So, anyway, guys, we're gonna watch something. Usually, when we eat lunch or dinner, breakfast, we always watch either Family Guy, but since we have a lot of Family Guy, we have a lot of other series. But yeah, if you guys like um, cook with me type of video, let me know in the comments down below. I really enjoyed doing this video and I had fun. Although may mga parts na hindi ako na record, but hopefully I explain ko sa inyo on how to do it and you enjoy hanging out with me. And yeah, so that's pretty much it. Thank you guys for watching. We're gonna start eating again our lovely pizza. Oh, by the way, don't forget to like and subscribe. And I'll see you guys on the next video. Bye! Say bye, babe. Sige, sige. <laughs> okay, bye, guys. <laughs> bye, bye. Thank you.